Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Kai Machado versus Brenton Ribeiro. Kai Machado fought 8-3-1. Eight and th eight, three and one. He's 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. 2 fight losing streak against Mick Parkin and Dante Mays. Minus 165 favorite from uh, Kai. 6-4 with a 78 inch reach. Brenton Ribeiro 15-7, and 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. Came into the UFC, got brutalized against Ming Yang Zhang, who he, he hurt early and then you know, lost, and lost to Magomed ooh, Gazel Gazelov, not going to get that name, I guess, plus 135 underdog, 28 years old, 6'3", with an 81-inch reach, 1 in height for Kai Machado, with a 3-inch reach advantage for Ribeiro, it, 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 like, if the version that even got finished by Zhang shows up, I think the power and the striking is very, very good, I think he could hurt Machado or finish Machado. The problem is, is the guy that fought Magomed didn't look good. Seemed like he didn't really even want to be there. Had some good leg kicks, I believe. It turned uh, Magomed into a wrestler. But Roberio just didn't really show anything off of his back. It was weird. But again, if you, if you look at it, which that's what we're going to do real quick. Brenton Roberio. So, strikes line per minute, 6.7. 6.07 to 3.08, 58 accuracy to 46, absorbs 2.73 to 3.08, at defense is 63 to 49. Here's, I guess, where it could be interesting. Uh, takedowns is 2.20 for Brentson, 50% accuracy, zero takedown defense with barely any submission attempts. Again, it just it's it's weird because Kai Machado, I don't think, is very good really at all. I think he has good pressure, good pace. I worry about him getting hit a ton because I think Roberto does have some power in his hands. I don't think this fight goes the distance. I think it is uh, inside the distance and probably a finish. Who wins it? Ooh. I'm going to go Roberto by knockout. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. See you guys in the next one.